Ooh, suit you, sir. Does it like it, sir? No, it doesn't, sir. Anal glands. A stink mushroom. They do fart. They have two stomachs, not because they're greedy, but because they care about the colony. It's such a funky mood today. Anal glands. Ooh. YouTube star dies. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Star. Oh, hello YouTube, Chris the Country Coach Gardener. Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I'm sure you'll enjoy this content as much as my other many, many, many videos. Anyway, begging and grueling and all that rubbish over with. Today, you're joining me on a area clearance, hedge clearance. Um, I don't know really what you would class this as really, but this area here getting destroyed and wasn't well, a job that I was planning on doing today at this regular property but um, I'm in a bit of a funny mood to be honest so I thought I would submerge myself in some outright aggression and destroy some shit, to be honest now there is a metal wire fence in here ba -ba, it's down there metal wire fence exhibit A and um, we've got some Ilex in there, it's definitely Ilex this time. We've got some Hawthorne, we've got various hazel, um, or Hawthorne, mostly brambles. Um, the customer wants it taken back to, we're going to beautify this area over time. It used to be a bit of a veggie plot about a decade ago, but it's just kind of like the bonfire dumping zone. But anyway, you're here for some action, so uh, let's do some. I've talked about this before, this Oregon blade on here. Bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. What would we do without this? Struggle along, that's what we'd do. And as for the the uh, Echo SRM2620 TES, the TES means the ball hand. The combination of them two together is just that's a beast. It's an absolute beast. Right, so see, I've got a long way to go through here. Just having a little look through this side most of it's going to be tackled from the other side it's all this age-old bramble the growth from this year is fairly um it's fairly soft still but um 
Yeah, I don't know if the camera picked it up while I show later on. But I'll tell you what, that's a brush cutter going through this elder. Ooh, ooh, suit you, sir. Oh, does it like it, sir? No, it doesn't, sir. Oh, does it take it, sir? Yes, it takes it, sir. Oh. <laughs> Such a funky mood today. Such a funky mood. Anyway, don't want to stop, don't want to chat. Smash some more stuff up. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you can get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget. I use them all to push me to my best. So treat the worst of times just like a test. If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless Just sitting here having a, uh, a drink and saying to eat. Oh, he's going. There's a rabbit <laughs> just running out in front of me. And yet, I've seen him. I've seen his uh, his little truffles around the place. But um, for a garden this size, I've actually not seen any damage to any of the plants. It's extraordinary. Anyway, finish up and then I'm going to get the chainsaw. Show you something. Like, oh, let's take this damn thing out of it. What I'm gonna do. <laughs> right, I'm gonna show you something. Let's just take it out of here. Horrible noise at the moment. Uh, turn over the camera. Come on, let's go. Uh, right. What I like to do is cut once at a height I can see, pull around the bottom, 
make sure there's no wire in there and then I'll cut again. Just notice down here. First I thought it was a golf ball. Look at that. It's a little puffball mushroom. Now in a while these will get this will get bigger, it would get the size of like a football. And you can cook them and eat them from fresh. Best I've had them fried, simply sliced and fried on the barbecue. This one won't grow now, but look at the tiny, tiny little root on there. Just a tiny, about what, five on there? Yeah, puffball. Dropped ball. <sighs> Love nature. Love nature. I like giving you these facts mainly because I'm a fun guy. <laughs> oh, Gonna correct myself. I've just split it. I split it because I wanted to see the puffiness inside. And it's not, it's slimy. It's a silk horn mushroom. I'm never very good at identifying, only the really common ones. Well, I've never seen one of these before. Silk horn mushroom. It's slimy. I believe it's edible. I believe it's edible. Anyway, I'll just kick him back some here. Not only one, but another two tiny little ones. Two tiny little ones interconnected there. I presume these are going to be the silk horn mushrooms as well. That one's actually piggybacking off the rest, so do you class that as one or two? I'd say two because it's got two lots of roots on there. Have a little Google up of it and see what it says, really. Okay, so I had a quick Google up and now that I've got signal. Silk horn mushroom. This mushroom also grows from an egg, but it is easily identified as the layers between the immature mushroom and the inside skin of the egg. Some parts of the silk horn are actually edible, the, if little smelly. It sounds like me really, I suppose I'll be edible, but I'm pretty smelly. But if you're, if you're going to try this, you must be 100% certain um, that you haven't got a amenita. Amenita instead, or oh, oh, oh. Should we send this to someone that we don't like? If you slice the silk horn through, it'll be pretty obvious that it's a member of the puffball family. So there we go, I'm here. Pretty pleased with myself that I could get confused that it's in the, um, uh, within the puffball family. Um, you must be 100% certain, blah 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 blah. Um, what happens when we did the taste test of this? Click here for the YouTube video. I'm interested, I'm interested. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit distracted and this is exactly how my life goes. Oh, I clicked the video. I'm going to give this a watch. We'll catch up in a little while. Right, <laughs> I haven't gone back to work yet. Um, I'm so excited by that. This is so pathetic, but you know, anyway, my videos, I can do what I fucking believe. So, stink horn mushroom. Apparently, it's a delicacy in parts of Europe, apparently. Now, this is a, uh, I mean, I've dropped it in the mud, but there's all this jelly rubbish over the, over the top of it now. But apparently, there's parts of this which are edible. I wouldn't say it smells bad. Um, but the inside of this, inside this eggy, yucky gunk, is going to be an, a white bit. Now, I'm going to cut it, but all I've got is my secateurs here. I haven't got a knife, so I'm just going to give this a cut through, and we're going to have a look at the inside. Oh, it's, oh, it's tougher than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah. So it's just like the, just like on the YouTube video, that white bit apparently, it actually, it said on the video, it had a radishy taste to it. I'm not gonna taste this, but apparently the inside bit, this bit here, shall I taste it? What do we reckon? No, I'm not, I'm not that brave. YouTube star dies. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Star. <laughs> okay, now my mood's taking a right old swing today. So, here we are, stinkhorn, stinkhorn mushroom. Part of the puffball family. Skinny, sort of like, um, have you ever seen egg sacs from like a grass snake? That's what the egg sacs like, and then this jelly stuff. Brown top, and then the white inside. Delicacy in Europe, apparently. Love it, love it. Anyway, let's start the chainsaw up and uh, clear some more of these stumps. 
and then I'm going to go along with a brush cutter and smash back more of this ivy. And then that's going to be two areas cleared. I've got a massive amount of um, decaying logs in here. Might be some more of these stinkhorn mushrooms, never know. Never know what you're going to find, do you? Never know what you're going to find, you two. Never know what you're going to find. I'm going to pull back a bit off there. Then I can cut back that um, horny thorn a little bit more. There isn't anything there. I, I went through and made sure that I could... Um, I went through and tried to get all of the wire out first. That's not attached. The brush cutter will probably go through that one. Anyway, let's continue. Find my way. Caught up in a daydream. I need my mind up there almost daily. So I pass time, no opinion, safely. So I understand what I want. It's spicy. Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things. What could go wrong? What thing brings what? Success is a finicky thing. If you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let myself. Just gonna put my hand in an ant's nest, which reminds me of a really funny story that I've got to. There's a little, little sparrow over there. Um, really funny little story. I was with my my boy, and <clears throat> if you follow the channel, you'll know I love my facts. Hopefully, it's picked up in the videos. I love my facts. I love my nature, and I love all quirky little things about it. Anyway, we're working in the garden. I bent over and brrr, I dropped my hat. Me and my boy have a little chuckle about it and we see ants and we're chatting away and he says to me daddy do ants farm i was like i don't know so anyway we had a google up we had a little google up about some facts about ants and um <laughs> fascinating little thing so yeah they do fart most insects fart just like humans uh, apart from it's called gut rather than fart it's just a, a terminology thing anyway Ants actually have two stomachs, not like cows, because cows have two stomachs. They have two stomachs because they chew the grass, digest it, grow it up, and digest it again to make it palatable. Apparently, it's probably a bit more technical, but that's the, the gist of it. Ants have two stomachs: one for their digestion, and one for the ants back at the nest. You know, like the, the colony. Um, what else did we find out about them? They. Oh yeah, they hold funerals. 
<laughs> they'll hold a funeral for their fellow ant. You'll see sometimes ants taking other ants, which are dead, back to the to the burial site, and then they'll bury them in mounds. So that's a, that's pretty cool. Uh, cool for the ants, anyway. And they say you shouldn't squash ants. This was a really cool one. They say you shouldn't squash ants because when they die, apparently they let off this this smell, this pheromone sort of thing, which tells the other ants come right down. And that's when they come and get them. And I've seen them do this before. They actually take hold of the ant and they pick it up because they've got superhuman strength, you know, size to a um, strength ratio is way beyond the human body. So there we are. They do fart, they have two stomachs, not because they're greedy, but because they care about the colony. Oh, that was the other thing. They're also slave makers. There's a species of ant, I can't remember the name, but there's basically a species of ant that will attack another colony and they will take other ants captive and force them to work in their colony. Slave making ants. Sounds like some of the British past, to be honest. But anyway, I'm going to finish the video there because I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to go around with the brush cutter a little bit more, but I think you've seen enough of that. Swing the camera around and you can have a little final look at the job in question. Oh, we started over in this corner. Um, you can see one little stump there. There's some hawk. Well, this was all brambles and everything that was in here was the brambles and mess, really. Um, mostly hawthorn saplings, as you can see. There's, yep, there's a stump there. Hawk. So they're all quite randomly around. There wasn't like any particular. I think there's only in some sort of line, purely because the fence line was there for it and holding it in. Another stump there. Nice colouring on the hawthorn. Nice colouring. Um, and then we've gone through down here. I've kept in this hazel. Big stack of ash there. More stumpy stumps. Um, the beast. Rubbish. More rubbish, more rubbish. Rubbish, 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 rubbish. Um, I think that was part of an electric fence, maybe? Or is that just pallet wrap? Meh. And then here, a huge stump. Huge stump. Actually, two stumps. Now, that looks like cherry, and this would be the ash. And some more fungi. I don't know what that one is. I'm not very good on my fungi. I should be better. I have got a book down into the in the van. And I used to look them up. Anyway, rabbiting, rabbiting. Kept this bit of fence here. So... Why has this all been done? Well, we're going to re-establish, we're going to tidy the area up. The, the customer's boundary does actually go back there, apparently, and that's just a right away through. I, I, I personally would still like to see a hedgerow through here. Even I've been bit on the nipple. Normally you have to pay for that sort of thing, but in this job you get random bites. Oh, God, burn the tear. Probably some karma somewhere, and mind you, with my luck, I'll fall in a bucket of tears. But anyway, bide the bide. A um, little bit more brush cutting to do. I could probably just go around with the shears and just tidy up around the log piles. I'm not keen on putting the brush cutter or the chainsaw or hedge cutter into those areas really, because there's a big patch of stinging nettles over there. I started to go into it with the brush cutter and I found there's a big pile of wire there. I wasn't very chuffed about that. But anywho, I'd like to see a hedgerow back in here. Something native, hawthorn, blackthorn, you know, but we have got a nice big bit of um, beach hedging here, which won't be long before I have to get on and cut this. Um, and then there's the old tennis court. If you didn't see my last video where I did some mowing here, go back and have a little look. Please do. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel and the analytics. Even if you're that one person who uh, gives us that thumbs down the second the video goes up, it does help. And I'm very appreciative that you've done that thumbs up, thumbs down, because it means you've clicked the video. And if you click the video, it means I get a little bit of the old money. So even the haters are contributing to pay out my mortgage. Thank you very much, you cheeky little devils. <laughs> devils. I can't use the plural, because to be honest, it's a shame, really, that YouTube has taken away the thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, 
because it makes no odds particularly interactions interaction and if people don't like the video then that's fine I'm not everybody's cup of tea some people are coffee drinkers Ooh, some people are vodka drinkers some people are a secret lemonade drinker <laughs> anyway that's been my mood for today I've been the country cottage gardener you've been marvellous the trimmer's been a beast thanks for watching anal glands <laughs>